More organic food is available these days, but there is some confusion about what eating organic truly means. As part of our Living Green segments, Alexandra Dyro looks into it for us today. Alexandra, what kinds of rules and regulations need to be followed for a meat product to actually be certified organic? Well, Jeff, in order to be classified as organic, the animal has to be fed on all organic grains. That means no herbicides or pesticides can be used in the food or on the land for three years prior to certification. There's a place that recently received the certification. This is the first certified organic processing facility in central Indiana. And when it opened, it was only the second to do so in this state. Jessica and Eric Smith own the This Old Farm processing plant and farm. They say that the lack of an organic processing plant in the state of Indiana was what prompted them to certify their operation. And in Indiana, we didn't have an option for certified processing, for certified organic processing. And so uh, for livestock, it didn't matter if you certified your farm unless you wanted to ship across state lines. There are many rules and regulations that go into being certified as organic. Some of those include feeding animals on only organic grain, as well as having tracking and traceability. The Smiths say that they keep their farm organic because it's best for their family's health, and it keeps the animals happy. But, you know, they're, they're not pets. Um, they're, their animals are here for a purpose, um, and I want them to be well taken care of because I think if they're well taken care of, they'll produce very well for the farm and for our customers. But shopping both organically and locally holds another upside. By consuming food that is raised and processed close to home, there is less shipping needed, meaning there's less gasoline emitted in the transportation of your food. That farm to table distance that many people have heard about is typically on average 1500 miles from farm to yeah, table numbers vary. Uh, for an average meal. The Smiths also tell me that by processing all of their meats locally they are contributing to the local economy and government. And coming up at 6 I will take you down to the farm and give you a look at what an organic working farm actually looks like. Alexandra Dyro News Channel 18.